Hi everybody, welcome to the 10 day Master You Metabolism Challenge. My name is Naomi Judge, I'm a naturopath and nutritionist and I help women connect the dots between their health, happiness and hormones. And so that's why I'm doing the 10 day Master Your Metabolism Challenge and you can still sign up if you want to. There's a link just above because your metabolism is about your hormones. It's about regulating your appetite hormones, your thyroid hormones, your estrogen, your progesterone, your testosterone, all of those beautiful hormones so that you feel great. And today I'm talking about leptin. I was meant to pop on yesterday and talk about leptin. Today is day seven and it was meant to be, I forgot this one out yesterday. So if you're getting the emails today, I've accidentally switched it around. So yesterday I did about self-care, which was meant to be day seven. But So today is about leptin. Leptin is a very important hop hormone. Leptin is an appetite hormone. Leptin and ghrelin are both appetite hormones. But leptin in particular, I have found, has been out of balance for so many people. And it can start from a young age. And this can cause so many issues with appetite, with weight, with cravings, with controlling how often you eat, your portion size, all of that kind of thing. So it's really important for your appetite, for your metabolism to get leptin in control, to get leptin balance where it could be. You know, le leptin ensures that you feel satisfied after every single meal. Leptin ensures that you're not snacking too much. Leptin ensures that what you eat, you feel good afterwards. You don't need to eat again afterwards. Now, I just want to go through um, some of the signs of leptin being out of balance. So leptin is a hormone that if you've got a lot of fatty tissue, you might be producing more, more leptin. And so signs that it might be out of balance will be obesity, unsatisfied after each meal. So you eat a meal and you think, oh, I really feel like something else. I really feel like eating something. Um, persistent snacking. So grazing through the day. Grazing through the day is not normal. You shouldn't be grazing, grazing, grazing. And I talked to you in one of our first Facebook lives about why it's not good for your metabolism. Because if you're grazing through the day, it's naturally putting your progesterone down and that will cause you to gain weight, gain water weight, crave, your serotonin will be down and that will inhibit your thyroid gland. So it's really important to get leptin under control. And if you need to graze through the day and you're constantly, constantly snacking, that is a sign that your leptin is out of balance for you. So it's really important to get that, um, to get that in balance. And then, of course, the constant need for food. Are you one of those people that when you go out, you have to make sure you've got a bag of nuts in your bag? Are you one of those people that um, if you're in the cinema, you need something. If you're at someone's house, you need something. You constantly need to know that there's some kind of food you can get. Otherwise, it might put you into a bit of panic. Otherwise, you'll get hungry really easily. That's a sign that your leptin can be out of balance. So as I said, this is about your metabolism. So general health, you need to get your leptin in balance. But for your general metabolism and to get your metabolism working for you, and by getting your metabolism working for you, you're going to feel energized, you're going to have hair, you won't have hair loss, you'll be able to lose weight, you'll be at your natural weight, sustain your weight, you'll sleep really good, you'll wake up and you'll be able to bounce out of bed. So there are so many benefits to having a metabolism that works for you. We've talked about the signs and symptoms of a sluggish metabolism, they can be constipation, they can be hair loss, they can be bloating, it can be hormones out of balance, it can be depression, it can be fatigue in the morning. So many different signs and symptoms. But getting your leptin in balance is my tip number seven. Because if you get that in balance, you'll feel great, you'll feel energized, and you won't have a constant need for foods, which won't then put pressure on your metabolism and stop it. So how do you reset your metabolism? Well, there's a few different ways to reset your metabolism, but really it's all about diet and it's about resetting that leptin. Leptin is so very important. So tip number one, have three good meals a day. In each meal, have your protein, your fat, a little bit of carb and lots of fiber. By having the fat and by having the protein, it helps your body to reset leptin. And if you lose weight, there's a double benefit because then you won't have the fatty tissue producing the leptin to put your satiation out. The bigger, you, the more fat you've got to muscle ratio, the more hungry you get, the more less satisfied you are at a main meal, the more you need to snack. So it's really important to get that weight down, and by doing that, you can have those three great meals a day. Don't start the day with fruit. 
having a bowl of fruit for breakfast puts your leptin out the whole day and puts you in a snacking, ravagey, grazing kind of mood and you're constantly wanting food. Have a savoury breakfast. Better still, have fat or protein for breakfast. You know, that will keep you going for the whole day. It will stop the leptin from getting out of control and you won't have a constant need to snack, graze, sugar, carbs, anything through the day. So it's really important to do that. So number one is to make sure you have three great meals a day. Number two is don't have fruit for breakfast. Have savoury breakfast and make sure you've got some fats in there like avocado, some proteins in there, maybe some nuts and seeds. You know, you can... You can play around with a homemade granola with coconut milk, a uh, vegetably green smoothie with lots of protein and fat in. You could have, you know, a really great quality sausage with half an avocado and maybe some legumes. You can really play around with it. It can be easy, but I encourage you to not have that bowl of fruit for breakfast because that not only starts the cascade of that blood sugar insulin issue, but also it puts your leptin out of balance. Next is exercise. So exercise, of course, it's healthy, very, very healthy for you. But you need, if you want to get your metabolism working for you, you really need to have a look at what exercise you're doing. So if you're the type of person that snacks all day, hungry all day, needs sugar through the day, and you're a little bit stressed, work stressful and there's stressful things going on, I really encourage you not to do that intense exercise like long distance running, long distance exercise for an hour in the morning because what that does is it really pushes your leptin out and causes you to get into that kind of snack mentality through the day. So I really encourage you to look at doing yin exercise in the morning and then better still if you want to do your if you like real running which a lot of people do save it till later in the day particularly if you're trying to get your metabolism back on track. I do talk a bit about exercise and I am going to do a Facebook Live specifically on exercise for your metabolism and we are going to talk about the times to do exercise, the best exercise for you, but also in day number eight, I think it is, we're seven, eight, it, tomorrow I talk about intense interval training. Intense interval training twice a week is wonderful for your metabolism and wonderful for your leptin levels. So really what it is, it's that 20Ks in the morning before a stressful day. That can put your leptin levels out. So be really careful with the type of exercise that you choose to do because it might not be supporting your metabolism like you think it is. So really think about that. If you do your exercise in the morning and for the rest of the day you feel hungry or for the rest of the day you feel stressed, then I encourage you to just rethink your morning exercise. So we've talked about having three really great meals a day with fat, your protein, and a little bit of starch. We've talked about starting the day with protein. Not snacking throughout the day, even on healthy snacks. They're not grazing on nuts all day, every day. Not grazing on fruit, fruit through the day. And also being mindful of the exercise you do in the morning. So if you feel you have a leptin problem, don't go doing long distance running in the morning. Do some yoga or do some intense interval training. And fifth is fruit. Don't snack too much on fruit through the day. You know, don't drink fruit juices through the day, plus have your bowl of fruit. Have two designated snack times. And if you want to have a piece of fruit, and when you, if you want to have, sorry, something's just come up on the screen that's put me off. If you want to have a piece of fruit, if you want to have a piece of fruit, save it till later in the afternoon or the evening. It's less likely to have an, an, an effect on your leptin and your metabolism. So those are my five top tips to reset leptin. And like I said, if you can't reset leptin, you're not going to reset your metabolism. So this is one of the main important things for metabolism and also for your hormones. And if you're looking to lose a little bit of weight, resetting leptin is super, super important. So I hope you enjoyed my live today. It was, a, it was a quick one. It's Saturday. You're all out. I'm just um, seeing clients at the moment and then I'm off for a family barbecue later if the storm outside lets up. Hopefully it will. So I hope you found that helpful. If you've got any more questions about leptin, what to do about leptin, the signs and symptoms, please pop them in the feed below. And if you've got any feedback about the metabolism challenge, I would love to hear it. I'm getting some great feedback. So thank you guys for all the emails you're sending me. And tomorrow I will be on again. And that's it for today. So we talk leptin. So thank you so much for joining me today. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, everyone.